the topic for this video lecture is connected vertices, and the kind of connections we can have between different vertices through edges. So we're going to start by showing that the shortest walk between two vertices is a path, and we're going to prove it by contradiction. So suppose we have some path from u to v, and it crosses over itself, right? So here we have u and v, and at some point, you know, you get to C, and you go back to C, and from there you go to V, right? So you've gone through the vert some vertice C twice. But if you want to get the shortest path from U to V, why would you go through this loop? Why not just keep going straight from C to V? So the path without, you know, that section that goes from C back to itself also goes from U to V and is shorter. So if we have any path that crosses over itself, we can just get rid of that part that loops around back into itself, and we still have a, a walk from U to V. So therefore, the shortest walk from U to V is going to be a path. So now we're going to talk about the length n walk relation. And what this means is with two vertices V and W, there is this GN relation between V and W if there is there exists a length n walk from V to W. And GN is called the length n walk relation for G. So basically, if you can find a way to go from V to W in exactly n steps, then GN applies from V to W. And G itself, when you think about it, is the length 1 walk, walk relation. You know, the graphs define these relations, and there's an edge from one vertice to another if there's a, if there's a length 1 edge from one vertice to another. You know, it is itself. Now, this lemma, right, we say that GM and relational composition with GN equals GM plus N. Let's explain what this means. So what that relational composition means is that, that re the relational composition between the two applies from X to Y if there is some vertice Z such that there is a path M from X to Z and then a path N from Z to Y. Right? There's some GM applies from X to Z, and GN applies from Z to Y. And why this is the same thing as GM plus N makes sense, right? If there's a path length M to Z, and on the path le length N from there to Y, you just go from X to Z in M steps, then Z to Y in N steps, and you have M plus N steps from X to Y. The length zero walk relation just makes each vertice go back to itself, like points back to itself, the individual one. And the lemma is still true, you know, G0 composed with, itself, with GN is just GN, which makes sense, you know, everything itself plus GN just gives you GN. Let's talk about composition of matrices. So if we have some adjacency matrix for G, then and we do a composition with some H, then we can get that by applying this Boolean and or matrix multiplication. You know, th these adjacency matrices are ones and zeros, so we do matrix multiplication, but with Boolean operations instead of pluses and multiplications. So we can compute A, G of N by fast matrix exponentiation. How do we do that? Well, basically, you can do it for G, N over 2, twice, and then G, N over 4 for each of those twice, and go doing those Boolean operations on each, right? So a g of n equals a g of n over 2 uh, applying this operator to a g n over 2. So you can just break it down in 2 each time so we get logarithmic number of products that we have to do. Now let's define another relation. g star is just called the walk relation of g. And basically U, a G star applies from U to V if there is a walk from U to V, no matter how long it is. If you can find some way to get from U to V, then it applies. And if we want to get the walk relation, you just get everything inside the, the graph and apply self loop. So make every, ha, add in an edge that points back to itself for every vertice. And we call this G less than or equal to. And it's basically G and then add in these G0, the self verse, self edges. And G less than or equal to has a length n walk if G has a less than or equal to n walk. Now, think about that. If I can get from 
vertex x to vertex y in n minus 1, or n minus some amount of steps in g, then I can get there in n steps in g less than or equal to because I can just loop around, right? If I want to get here from red to blue, right? I can get there in one step without those self loops, but with the self loops, I can just keep starting from red, go around to red as many times as I want, n minus one times, and then do this final step. So I can make it make a n length n walk uh, for any value of n greater than one. Now let's compute the walk relation using what we've just defined. So g has n vertices. So the the length of paths are going to be less than or equal to n, right? If you go, if you just go in a straight line from one thing to another, passing through each possible vertice, at most you're going to get n minus one length, right? Because you're going to pass through n vertices, so there's n minus one edges connected. There. So, g star, which is just the relation if there is a walk from u to v, is going to be this g less than or equal to to the n minus 1. So if we get g less than or equal to, uh, uh, add in all these self loops, and then find all the paths of length n minus 1 in there, which is basically all paths, since uh, g star and g uh, less than or equal to n minus 1 is all paths less than or equal to n minus 1, but since g only has paths of less than or equal to n minus 1, that's just all the paths. It's just every single one of the verse. And so we've defined g star, and that's how we get all connected vertex pairs. And we can do this in n squared log n time using that composition of the uh, adjacency matrices. 